Hey everybody, Fulcher Rash. Welcome back to 365 Days of Irish Tenor Banjo Tunes. Today we are on day 239. Definitely getting to be coming up on fall. It's interesting, like we are August 26th today. And I know in a lot of other places in the world, that is not fall. It's still full on summer. But here, um, we're used to really long, long uh, days of summer, you know, it stays light till 11, 1130 at night. It's now just about nine, about 10 to nine, and it is already starting to get dark outside. It's only 11 degrees. Uh, I've got to wear a hoodie. I've got socks on. Uh, yeah, it's the end of summer, kind of as we go back to the school year, the leaves have already started to turn on the trees. They're already just starting now. And, uh, which means the end of the porch couch. So I don't know how many people have know this, uh, if you've been watching for a while, but when summer comes around, we have this covered porch area out here and uh, we've got this couch from my wife's uh, uh, school room. Like she teaches, she's a teacher and in her classroom, not school room, gosh, we're not in the 1800s, um, but in her classroom, she has this old couch of ours. The kids love it. They sit and read on it and stuff. But in the summers, it comes home to the porch here. And I love to sit out here and play. But it is getting to the point where it is dark and it's getting cold earlier. I've got the light on and the camera. Hopefully it lasts. It had not been charged in a while. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's get on to things here. We are going to be doing another polka this week. We're doing polkas all week long. It's Monday. We're starting off uh, with... Well, we did one yesterday, actually. This one is called uh, Many a Wild Night, number 27, in the Banjo Buddies Big Book of 365 Irish Tunes. I don't feel like I've promoted this book um, quite a, in quite a while. I promoted it a ton at the beginning, and uh, I love the fact that some people have actually said in the comments, Ah, oh, I just bought the book, it's great. Um, I feel like when I first started learning banjo, um, his beginner book was very useful and also just his videos were very useful. So if you don't know, the Banjo Buddy is James Finnegan. Um, between him and Enda Scawhill, they're like my two YouTube favorites. Uh, Ben Hockenberry is another guy who's right up there. Don't want to forget Ben. Um, but this book in particular has been absolutely wonderful. So I really feel good about promoting it. And in case anybody is wondering, uh, no, I don't get any sort of a kickback. I'm not on any like shared scheme or get a buck per book or something like that but uh if you like irish tenor banjo tunes or you like irish tunes in general uh go out and buy this book uh throw a bone to james and uh he seems like he's a really nice guy don't know him personally obviously he's um from ireland although i think he's in school in the states right now i'm not sure but anyways i'm i'm rambling once again we're gonna be doing many a wild night polka and uh, we'll do it first time through slow, and then we'll see what we, pardon me, what we do with it from there. Nice polka, actually. Quite uh, relaxing, enjoyable. Um, and I, I normally have a hard time with polkas and don't enjoy them. But uh, I think if you want to get better at a style, 
not only listen to it, and that applies in particular for traditional Irish music. Normally it's learned by ear. I learn by tab. I, I cheat, I use the tab. Um, but play a bunch of it in this, you know, in a row. I find when I play these polkas in a row, I get better at reading the polkas and, and kind of getting that, how the sixteenths work, work. That's kind of the biggest issue for me is those sixteenths. Anyways, we're going to practice a bit. Uh, at the very least, we'll speed this up. I haven't figured out where to add ornamentation yet in a polka, um, but maybe I'll play around with that tonight. I got a little bit of time. It's early for a change. <laughs> Okay, I think that's uh, it. Doesn't feel like we're gonna add any, I, I still have to figure out if and where you add ornamentation to a polka. Um, but I think that's it for tonight. We'll see you all tomorrow. Slon.